As you all know, ever since the new Free Fire update arrived, many emulator users have been affected. The reason is that after this update, Free Fire no longer supports emulators that are based on Android 4. And that's why I haven't been uploading emulator-related videos for a long time, because whenever I tried any emulator above Android 4 on my PC, Free Fire simply wouldn't run on it. But finally, after weeks of research, I found an emulator on which I not only managed to run Free Fire at 30 plus FPS, but also got to see predefined key mapping. So, that's enough talking, and let's move to the PC screen, where I will explain everything to you practically. Let's roll. First, you need to download this zip file from my website, and if we talk about its download size, it's just 270 MB, so it should download easily. If you don't know how to download it, I have provided a video link in the description, just check it out. Once the download is complete, right-click on the zip file and choose the Extract Here option. As soon as the extraction is complete, you will see a setup file, which you need to launch. After that, click on the Install button. As soon as the installation is complete, a web page will open automatically, which you need to close. After this, open the Multi-Instance Manager and go to its settings. Here, select Custom and set the RAM to 700 MB and allocate 1 CPU cores only. If you don't have a graphics card, set it to DirectX. Leave the rest of the options as they are and click the Save button. Now, I will turn off Bandicam and record the PC screen using my mobile to ensure you experience minimal lag. As you can see, the emulator has successfully launched and is running very smoothly. Talking about its Android version, it comes with Android 5, which is fully compatible with any low-end PC. And because of Android 5, you will also be able to run many other games easily. Now, for Free Fire installation, the process is very simple. Just drag and drop the following APK file into the emulator, and the installation will start automatically. Remember, you must drag and drop the APK file only. If you try to install a simple one without the necessary files, you will also need the OBB file separately. So the installation is now complete. So let's launch Free Fire. As soon as you launch the game, key mapping will be enabled automatically which is one of the best features of this emulator. No matter which game you play, around 80% of games will have predefined key mapping. Now, the game has successfully launched, so I will quickly log in with a guest account. So, the match has started, and as you can see, Free Fire is running smoothly. In fact, I'm getting around 30 to 35 FPS even on just 2 GB RAM. But, there are a few points in the game where the FPS drops slightly, but overall, the game runs quite well. I also tested other games, and I got impressive performance on this emulator. So, overall this emulator is really good. However, if this emulator still doesn't work on your PC, you can also play Free Fire on your browser, even with just 1 GB RAM. If you want to watch a tutorial on that, click on the left video, and I'll see you there.